In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to set up a Facebook ads manager. Now, real quick, I'm gonna jump over my computer and show you why you need this. So this is the Facebook ads manager, and this is where you're gonna run ads from your account. So oftentimes you may see videos here on YouTube that's like, all right, now that we're in here, you're gonna make this type of campaign, target this type of people, and put these types of ads in there. But if you don't have this set up, you can't run ads, right? You might be able to boost posts and stuff like that, but that's not really running ads. You're not gonna get to, you know, several hundred dollars a day in ad spend doing that. And the results with boosted posts are hit or miss. They're a great intro strategy, but you need a better way to run campaigns that will actually bring you in qualified leads. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to set this up step by step. All right, so to do this, I'm gonna be over on this document here. I'll have this link down in the description below. So if you do wanna reference this throughout and just kind of go through it and check it off one step at a time, you can do that, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to business.facebook.com. I'm gonna go ahead and open this in a private browser. When you click on that link, what's gonna pop up is it's gonna ask you to log into Facebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in, all right? It's gonna then send you to two-factor authentication if you've got it set up, which hopefully you do. If not, we will in a second. And it's gonna save, do you wanna save this information? I'm just gonna push not, not now. I do trust this device. And this is gonna open up your business, um, really like your, your the business.facebook.com account. So this is what it's gonna look like when you get in here. Now, if you open this up and you do not have a business portfolio, which which as you can see here, um, I've got a couple of these. We're gonna go ahead and create one, okay? And we're gonna create one by pushing create business portfolio. So the reason we wanna create a business portfolio is this is where we're gonna have all of our assets, okay? So if I come into mine, I've got 93 business assets. That's because we run, uh, we help a lot of our clients run ads. So inside of here, I have all of the different ad accounts that we manage uh, or help run. We also have attached inside of here, Facebook pages and Instagram accounts, okay? So a portfolio, Portfolio. essentially this is a, a big folder, right? Of all the assets your business has, ad accounts, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, website domains you own, so you can run ads to those sites, uh, as well as pixel data. So all those things are inside of there and it allows you, we're gonna do this in a second, to assign assets to team members. So if you have a team and you wanna assign them specific access levels, so you don't have to log into your Instagram or Facebook account to get onto Ads Manager, you can just grant people access, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and create one brand new. All right, we're gonna name this one test account, one, two, three, and then you'll put your information in here. It might already have this email address attached, so we'll see if this works or not. Okay, we're gonna skip. If you wanna add employees, you can do this right here. I'm gonna skip this for now, and we're gonna confirm. So we're gonna have the test account. This is the portfolio we're creating, and then the only person who has access to this right now is me. Okay, so boom, just open this up. And now that we've done this, let's come back to our handy dandy sheet over here. So I've done this, I've created a portfolio. If I don't already have one, if I have one, great, I can just use that. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go in this portfolio, come back to this one over here, and then we're gonna go to business settings, okay? And here is where we're going to add our business information. So when you come to the top here, uh, this might be hiding from you, but we're gonna click on business information right here. And we wanna fill out all the information in here. Your legal business name, your address, your business phone number, your website. Um, do all of this right now, okay? And then confirm your information. That is step one because we can't run ads without having this information in here. Facebook needs this to make sure you're a real business before you start running ads, all right? So step one is gonna be filling this out once it is created, okay? Uh, and I put in here, if you guys don't have an LLC already and you're trying to run ads, go get an LLC, right? Like it takes you probably 10 minutes to set one up there's a bunch of different tools out there. So just set one up, okay? Next thing we're gonna do, so now that we're in the settings, we have created this. The next thing we wanna do is we actually want to set up, like I said over here, is two-factor authentication in your security center. This is important because there's so many hackers out, right? And uh, hackers just being like, I don't know if you guys are on Instagram or on Facebook and you get a bunch of random messages saying, your account's gonna be deleted if you don't click this. If you click that without two-factor authentication set up, you have a, a risk of somebody coming into your ad account, spending a bunch of your money and you getting none of it back. Okay. I've, I've heard people who've had that happen and they've spent like, you know, 40 to $50,000 and it took them months to get it back. So set up your security up the right way. So to do that, we're going to come down over to security center. Okay. And then once we're in here, we're going to set up two factor authentication and we want everyone to have two factor authentication set up. Okay. So once that's set up and you select everyone here, the next thing that we're going to want to do, and this is coming in order over here is we want to add another family member to this business manager. 
Now, the reason we wanna do this is that for some reason, if somebody comes into your account and um, you do get hacked, you at least have access to somebody else who comes in who can manage the campaigns for you. I got locked out of Facebook one time for no reason, I just happened, but luckily I had my fiance now at the time, at the time girlfriend, she was one of my managers to my account. So I could still log in with her computer or even on my computer as her and still run my ads. So to do that, we're gonna put ourselves over here, we'll push add, and we're going to wanna send an email to the person you wanna add uh, as an admin access. And go through all of this here, but again, you always wanna have at least one person you know, like, and trust, ideally a family member here that's gonna have admin access so that if anything does happen to your account, you've got access to make those changes, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start adding accounts to the business portfolio. This is gonna be Facebook pages, Instagram pages, um, pixels, all the things that you have in your business, it's gonna all be attached together. We're gonna to add those right now, okay? So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on accounts. So let's come back to this over here. We're gonna see under accounts, we're gonna have pages, ad accounts, and then Instagram accounts. Those are the three we're gonna set up. Let's go to pages first. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna go ahead and push add. And if you already have a Facebook Facebook page account, you'll just, you know, a Facebook page, we'll say we'll add an existing Facebook page, okay? And then all you gotta do is find the Facebook page you own and put it in through here and request approval. Now, I don't have one to add to this, so I'm gonna show you what mine looks like right now. So I'm gonna come down to pages and here's my account. Uh, as you can see, I've already added it, which you would just do by going through here. If you wanna find the URL to this, we can just, if you go to Facebook and find that Facebook page, we could just copy this right here and then drop this into your existing page and then say, yep, this is my page, right? It'll also have your connected Instagram account, but again, I've already connected it to a page. I don't want to remove it, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and do that. If you don't have a page, we would just create a new Facebook page. And ideally, this should be very identical to what your existing Facebook page already looks like if you are an online coach, all right? So just to give you an example, here's my Facebook business page. As you can see, it's got my name on it. And then if you go to my personal page, it's gonna pretty much look identical, right? You can't really tell a difference. Right, I like keeping it simple it's because again, I'm doing coaching consulting. Uh, if you do have a business page, like you are a uh, an agency or you are a consulting service or just like a brick and mortar, you might have a different type of, of funnel here, but or a different type of layout, but because uh, doing consulting and they wanna work with me, that's how they're gonna look pretty much identical, okay? Now, let's come back to our account over here. The next thing that we're going to do, again, if, if you're a coach to make it look identical, is we're gonna wanna connect our Instagram to our Facebook page if it's not already connected. So as you guys saw a second ago, if I did add a existing Facebook page and it already had the Instagram account connected, I would be good. But if I didn't have it connected, we need to connect our Instagram to our business Facebook page. And how we would do that, let's come back over to this right here. So once you're logged into your Facebook business page, right, I'm here. If I come over here to the top of my account, I'm gonna switch to my Facebook um, business page. So I'm logged in as my business. Now, if I'm over here, I can go over here, click on settings, and then on my settings tab, I'll go ahead and click that. It's gonna open this up over here, and I'm gonna scroll down over on this left-hand side to permissions and go linked accounts. So if I click linked accounts, there's Instagram, and then I can open it right up here and connect one Instagram account to a business page just like that, okay? And I wanna make sure I have inst allow Instagram messages in my inbox selected as well, okay? So boom, once that is good to go, we're then gonna come over to Instagram accounts. This might have already connected if you connected the Facebook page and it is connected, but if it's not connected, let's make sure we do push add and push agree. And then once this pops up, you will sign in with your Instagram account to make sure you have given yourself access to this Instagram account to run ads to, all right? So again, this is what mine looks like. Gonna have a lot of different accounts on here, but you can see, Mine's connected here. So I've got a page, I've got an Instagram account. Great, that's really important. Uh, the next thing we wanna create is gonna be an ad account, okay? Now, an ad account is where we're gonna be running ads from. So this is gonna be that dashboard that I showed you a second ago. So if I jump into my ads manager, this right here is an ad account. This is where we create ads, we create campaigns, structure them and launch them. So we're gonna create this by coming up into your ad account settings and creating a new one, okay? So more than likely, if you don't have an account already, you'll go to ad accounts, you'll push ad accounts, and then you're gonna create a new ad account, right? Make sure that the time zone you select is your time zone, and then we'll just do test account. Next, doing it for my business, I agree, create ad account. Great, it's gonna to wanna to ask for payment information, and this is where you're gonna add your own payment information into uh, the software. 
right? And make sure you have the business information uh, that matches what you put in the business information section in your settings, okay? So once we do that, we pretty much have everything set up we need. The only other thing that you're gonna wanna set up with time, depending on the, the campaigns you're, you're running, is gonna be setting up your pixel and also setting up your uh, domains. So this is gonna be for just those who are sending traffic to your website, okay? I'm gonna hold off on talking about pixels. There's, a, there's multiple different ways to set this up. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. You can do that with API conversions, which is gonna be pushing back first party data. So like I use Go High Level. When someone fills out a form, there's an, a workflow set up to pass that information back to Facebook so that Facebook knows that somebody took an action on my website. There's also Pixel, which is like a cookie code that you put on the website. And when somebody fills out a form on that website, it pushes it back to Facebook. I'm not gonna cover that in this video because it really depends on what software you're using. If you're using ClickFunnels, it's gonna be different than if you're using Go High Level. If you're using SamCart, it's gonna be different than if you're using those other two. So I'm not gonna cover that. My encouragement is just to go search for a YouTube video on how to do that uh, based on the website platform that you're using, okay? Now, domains, I will cover this really quick. To get to domains, all we're gonna do is push add domain. Now, this is gonna be your website domain. We're gonna add your domain and you're gonna put whatever it is inside here. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna put, I would put mattshiver.com, but um, this is only already used, so I, I can't add this. So let me jump over to mine to show you what it looks like once it is created. All right, so I'm in my ad account here right now, and this one is one that has been created already. So once I would put that domain in and push enter, this is what's gonna happen it's gonna say verified or not verified. Verified means that it, Facebook has found that domain. It says, hey, I own this domain. And then you put this tiny little piece of code saying, hey, this is my domain. And we put that on your website, okay? And Facebook now goes, goes and looks at that website and says, yes, you do own this domain because the content code, which, which is blurred out for us, is gonna be specific to the code you put in on your website. And all you've gotta do here once you put the domain is uh, verify it. And there's three different ways to do it. One is by adding a meta tag, and you can just, again, follow the instructions on here. You can also do this by uploading Loading an HTML file to your root directory. To be honest, I never do this. And then the third way is gonna to be to update the DNS text record on your domain register. Uh, I have done this before, but honestly, again, the meta tag is the easiest, fastest, and it pretty much is instantaneous. It will tell you, hey, this could take 72 hours. I'm just gonna tell you, it takes about 10 minutes, maybe. Sometimes it's instant, okay? This is the preferred mechanism because it's just faster. If that doesn't work, I would try the DNS text record to set it up, okay? Now, once you've got all that set up, you're gonna be ready to go, right? So you're gonna be able to jump into your ads manager, then you can start creating campaigns. Whether you're trying to get more leads, make more sales, or send more traffic uh, to your website, or even just do DMs, right? DM ads, you can do all those through here, all right? But you gotta make sure you set that up in that way properly so your account is secure, all right? So again, if you guys want the link to this down here below, I'll have this. I'm gonna add that domain section in there as well. And um, yeah, that's all I got in this video for you guys today. Now, if you wanna learn the right people to target with your ads, the next video is gonna cover that step-by-step. Step. This applies to you whether you're a brick and mortar service provider, if you're selling e-commerce products, or if you're an online coach consultant looking to get more leads to grow your business, watch that video next because it'll walk you through exactly who the best audiences are to target right now.